this is just a, an update for the new uh, Google system on XC60 uh, 2022. How does it differ from census? Uh, hopefully it'll be a quick overview of the whole system uh, for you. Um, most who have used the census uh, will know that you used to swipe left or right for things like menus, uh, music, that sort of thing. Now it's just simply a button down here, so all your driving modes, etc. are found here. Um, again, just move up and down the screen, your sound settings, connectivity. A uh, car does have, obviously, uh, integrated internet. Um, being Google, you do need to put a Google uh, account in. Um, you've also got all your apps. Um, Play Store, that sort of thing, where you can look up apps, which is nice and simple. Go back, you can move things around, etc. Uh, different media, that sort of thing. Um, I'm currently using Spotify, which is nice and simple, um, on the free one. Uh, so that's pretty much quite straightforward the only thing i would say is the menus are quite small uh, it's not something you can do in car you'd have to set everything up um, prior to going uh, it shouldn't take you too long in terms of the screen again very similar to uh, census uh, obviously what you've last used that sort of thing um, your car status is in here so you can th see things like oil obviously the car's not running at the moment you've got your tire pressure monitoring Owner's manual, um, phone, it's quite simple. Um, if I start the car, the screen comes on. Uh, again, quite basic. Um, hopefully this will be updated. You've got two options. That's pretty much it. Even with music on, you think they could put something in the middle of the screen, but no, I tend to stick on that because uh, it's the most interesting version. Um, again, I don't know why it's not automatically connected. I had this issue the other day. Uh, it's connected for music. Um, for some reason, it's not connected for phone. Uh, it does this intermittently. I don't know why. Um, if we go into maps, um, maps are quite straightforward. Uh, you can search here things that you've done before. You can key in destinations. Uh, there's not very many categories at the moment. Hopefully, they'll update that. Um, obviously, your settings for your maps are here. Again, quite straightforward. The maps obviously do display um, traffic by the color lines, I don't know if you can see that. So it works off basically uh, mobile phone signal. So you can see it's live all the time um, where traffic is. Um, when you actually put a destination in, uh, it will work around the traffic automatically. Hey Google, take me to Manchester. Navigating to Manchester. By the way, if you want to listen to the news while you drive, just say, Hey Google, play the news. So, okay, just let it do its thing. So, there you go. Um, obviously, it tracks where you're going. Let's zoom out. Um, again, you can see where all the traffic is. In terms of the colour lines, you can pretty much go out as far as you want. Um, I don't know why it sets that way, it might be the way I've got my screen set up. Uh, that obviously it's not facing the UK uh, north to south on the screen. Uh, just to cancel, you press that. Um, if I just put in the previous one, we'll start again, there are options down below. Um, go, look, it's coming up now again, avoid road closure. You can dismiss it or let it do its thing. If we go down here, 
you've got different options. Uh, I'll tell you how much slower it is. Uh, put in your root options. Let's come back out of that. Um, there you go, certain things you can put from root. It's obviously all voice activated. Um, that's your journey just in one hit. You can see all the traffic around Manchester. So let me just cancel that. Uh, in terms of using the system, uh, it's really straightforward. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where people say, because it's all touch screen, there's no physical keys for heat. Um, but it's as simple as, hey Google, set driver's temperature to 24. Okay, changing the temperature for the driver to 24 degrees. Hey Google, turn driver's heated seat on. All right, turning on the seat heater for the driver. Hey Google, turn the air recirculation on. All right, circulating the air. Hey Google, turn fan speed to two. Got it, changing the fan speed to two. So, I don't know what the complaints are. It is quite easy. You can simply just press the button as you're driving along. Um, see, that's Manchester set in the main screen. Um, in terms of music, um, again, uh, quite easy. Uh, let's come out of that. I don't know why. So, Spotify is as you'd expect if you use Spotify got the playlists. Um, the only thing it doesn't seem to bring up for some reason, I don't know if it's because I've got the free um, Spotify, uh, if you go to a library and you look up artists, there's nothing there. Um, you can browse obviously different things. Um, as I say, anyone who's got Spotify in the car, this might be something uh, you're used to anyway. Um, the sound system is pretty good. You can see obviously what you're playing on the screen. Um, a lot of people have asked about USB connection, uh, which is in here. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, there is no music uh, that works for it. Um, just bear me one second. So I've connected the USB. Uh, a thing saying not recognised. So basically, uh, yeah, that's what comes up when you put a USB drive in. So if you're expecting to be able to play your music, if you have something like the uprated stereo system, I've seen a lot of people say that um, high quality music can only be played on USB rather than over something like over the air, uh, Bluetooth or something like Spotify. Uh, I honestly don't know the answer to that. Um, it probably is true. Uh, why they've done that, the sensor system used to allow you to play your music. Um, I've been told that it's not likely to ever change, um, but yeah, fingers crossed it will. Anyway, that's pretty much the system. It's very easy to use. Everything you're looking for about the car is here. Like I say, it is something you'd need to set up. Um, Obviously, these new models now got the wireless charging pad, which 2018 um, didn't as standard. It may have been an option. Um, I'm quite happy with uh, the Google system itself. I've had a few crashes when it's been hot. Overall, it's been really reliable. Um, I've compared it to uh, people's um, BMW, uh, latest BMW system, and I've arrived earlier to destinations in the BMW system. Um, so I think Google probably is the best um, on the market. You know, you might say otherwise, feel free. Um, if you've got any questions, um, hopefully this gives you a good overview. Uh, the voice activation, the system itself, uh, what's on there, how it compares to census. Um, give you an idea of when you're actually uh, purchasing um, if you you know are looking to to get a Volvo uh, what you're are going to be getting when you purchase the car
A bit more information on the screen. As you can see, you've got the car. Just opening a door. If you want to bring up information about your trip, overall fuel economy, you can change this in settings. Uh, it gives you a bit of information there. Uh, you just press this button to clear it.